Now let us learn how to find uh, cube roots or at least guess the cube roots of very difficult numbers or big numbers or unknown numbers, the numbers that we don't know. So in this particular trick, we are going to use this table of cubes from 1 to 10. So you should be knowing this beforehand. So let's take the first number. What is the cube root of 4930? So we, we shall be writing this 4913 and then we are going to make groups of three digits at one time. So this 4 will be in one group and 913 will be in the second group. This tells us that our answer will be a two digit number. Okay, uh, now what? So just look at this units place. The units place over here is 3. The last digit is 3. And try to search for 3 over here. 3, yeah, 3 comes over here. 343. So the number opposite to that is 7. So over here, we shall be writing a 7. So we have just come to know that whatever the answer is, the units place, the last digit of that number is 7. And now we come to this number 4. 4. Where does 4 lie in this uh, column of cubes? We can't see a 4 over here, but 4 comes in between 1 and 8. 4 lies in between, it comes in between 1 and 8. What is the smaller number? The smaller number is 1. And what is written opposite to that 1? 1 is written. So we shall be writing a 1 over here. So the cube root of this is 17. So if you do it in the corner, 17 into 17 and then that's 29 and then if you multiply it with another 17 you shall be getting 4913 remember such methods or such tricks are only useful if the number is a perfect cube so if let's suppose if i just change this digit from one and if i just write a three over here we still get the answer as 17 but in fact, if you multiply 17 and 17 and 17 to find the cube, you shall be getting 4913 and not 4933. So it is very important that we assume or we consider this to be a perfect cube. Or if only it's a perfect cube, we can get the correct answer. Otherwise, we will not get a correct answer. So let us again learn this method with another example. What is the cube root of 474552 so we shall be writing this 474552 and we shall be making groups of three groups of three because this time we have a cube root so this tells us that again our answer will be a two digit number now look at the units place of this number the last digit is two where do we find two in the end yeah here we have a two in the units place 512 what is written opposite to that? 8 is written. So 8 is the units place of our answer. And now what about this 474? 474 is not written anywhere over here, but 474 definitely lies in between 343 and 512. Means 474 comes in between 343 and 512. So which is the smaller number? The smaller number is 343. And what is written opposite to that? 7 is written opposite to that. So our answer to this is 78. So again, if you use your calculator or if you do it in the corner, 78 into 78 into 78, you shall be getting 474552. Let's again learn this with another example. What is the cube root of 79.507? So 79.507 will make a group of 3 and the 79 point will come in the first group. So again we have an answer which comprises of two digits but one of the digit is after decimal place. So what's written over here? 7. And we need to search 7 in the unit space. So we know the 7 comes over here in the unit space. And what is written opposite to that? A 3 is written opposite to that. So we have a 3 after the decimal point. And then 79. Where does 79 come? 79 comes in between 27 
and 64. Uh, no, it comes between 64 and 125. It comes between 64 and 125. Which is a smaller number? 64 is smaller. What is written opposite to that? 4 is written opposite to that. So the answer to this shall be 4.3. I hope you understood this. Thank you for watching.